That's the question. Do you want to be ablaze with God? Oh, yeah, bro, I want to be ablaze with God. I preached at a church just this past break. The theme of Moses and all of, all of that was on my heart, and I was just getting ready to preach. And as the pastor got up, about to introduce me, he says, Lord, we want your presence the way Moses had your presence. I said, I'll take that as a confirmation. The first thing I said when I got up there was, do you really want the presence the way Moses had it? That presence laid low every member of that community because they were not as willing as they thought to be ablaze with God. Two made it, not even Moses made it. That's how yielded and surrendered and owned we have to be to be the bush that's ablaze. Forget planning, friends. Don't forget it, but forget it at the foundational level. Are we willing to embrace this mystery that this fire can have control? This fire that does not know how to be a spark. He's either all-consuming or he's not present. He is an all-consuming fire. We say, oh, our God's an all-consuming fire. Well, then let's talk about that. He's an all-consuming fire. He consumes all or it ain't God. It's a little renewal mixed in with what we want. But God is all-consuming. Do we now want to be ablaze with the presence of God? Where He consumes all, He is all. As Paul says later in Colossians, Christ is all and all and all and all. It doesn't matter. Jew, Gentile, Scythian, Greek, circumcised, uncircumcised, man, woman. It doesn't matter. Christ is all. Whoosh, burning a flame. That's the foundation right there. You want to be full of the Spirit? Embrace this mystery. The fact that God lives inside of us and wants to burn in us. Fire. 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 Just trying to get radical is not fire. Letting God burn the way He wants to burn. That's fire. So God initiates it. But we have to embrace the real mystery that Christ lives within and He's Christ. He's not Casper the Friendly Ghost or a periodic psychologist or rabbi that comes to give advice. He's an all-consuming fire. And he's just waiting for you to open the door through surrender, obedience, listening. He's waiting for you to open the door and let him out. So how do we do that? Where's the door? Where's the rudder to that ship? Where is it? It's in your mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. And praise shall continually be in my mouth. Moses meets with God and God gives him an illustration by consuming a bush of what is now happening. I possess you and I'm going to be living in those people. What's the result? Go to Pharaoh and say, Thus saith Yahweh. That's the fruit that God possesses. We speak the words of God. Don't get too mystical on me before you get practical. If God's in us, your tongue will testify. Not just in praise time, but when you're dealing with the kids and you're dealing with the irritants of the day and you're dealing with the checker and you're dealing with the person who said they were going to be there but they're not there and the way you're going to respond, if you're full of the Holy Spirit when you're in the wilderness, what does your tongue say? And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke in other tongues. Chapter 